Greetings everyone. You're watching the channel Aviation Obsession. Fasten your seat belts and hold on tight, because we're taking off for episode 2 of the evolution of Boeing. In the 1950s, the aviation industry was about to experience a major change with the introduction of the first jetliner. And guess who was leading the way? You got it, Boeing. From that point on, they established themselves as the go-to manufacturer for commercial aircraft, and their creations just kept getting bigger and better. Get ready to witness some of the largest airplanes ever made as we explore the incredible journey of Boeing. So sit back, relax, and let's soar through the skies of aviation history. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for future uploads. Without further ado, let's get started. Boeing's success as a commercial airplane producer began in 1957 with the development of their first true jetliner, the Boeing 707. It was based on the Dash 80 prototype, which was used for promotional purposes to showcase the safety and comfort of jet air travel to the public. Boeing's gamble on the future of commercial aviation paid off big time with the development of the 707. This jetliner wasn't the first of its kind, but it kicked off the jet age with a range of 3,000 miles and cruising speeds of 600 miles per hour. With room for up to 181 passengers, it was a game-changer for medium-range transport. Boeing customized the 707 to suit different customers, and it worked like a charm. Qantas Airways has long-range models with bigger engines. Despite the high costs, Boeing delivered 856 Boeing 707 models. The Boeing 720 was the lighter, more cost-effective sibling of the 707, introduced in 1960. It had a range of 3,680 miles and could accommodate 156 passengers. But here's the kicker, the military saw potential in this model too, and a funky looking version with a massive rotating radar dome, known as the Boeing E3 Sentry, was born. It was used for air defense and strategic strikes. Only 154 units of this futuristic beast were produced. Boeing took a big risk when it developed the 727 in 1962. They wanted an airplane for shorter flights from smaller airports, but customers couldn't agree on whether to have two or four engines. So they created the world's only three-engine commercial jetliner. The engines were all at the back, making it one of the noisiest planes ever. To combat the noise, they had to use hush kits to silence the engines. The Boeing 727 was a hit. It had a top speed of 632 miles per hour, a range of 3,110 miles, and was one of the first commercial planes to sell more than 1,000 units. Boeing only planned to make 250 but ended up building 1,832 due to high demand. Although the 727 was loud, it was still a fan favorite, and some airports had to ban it because of the noise. Did you know that the Boeing 727 had a built-in air staircase that could be opened during flight? Well, in 1971, a man named Dan Cooper hijacked a 727 and demanded a hefty ransom of $200,000. After receiving the money, he famously jumped out of the plane with a parachute and disappeared without a trace. Despite a 45-year investigation, the FBI never found him. Due to this hijacking and others, the airplane was modified to prevent the doors from being opened during flight. The Boeing 737, aka Baby Boeing, is a commercial twinjet that was developed using 60% of the structure of the Boeing 727 to speed things up. It faced stiff competition from other established airliners like the French SE-210 Caravelle and the American Douglas DC-9. However, Lufthansa took a chance and placed the first order for 21 of them, worth $67 million. It had a smaller range of 1,150 miles, but that didn't stop it from becoming the most ordered commercial airplane just 20 years after its maiden flight in 1967. The Boeing 737 has seen four generations of development, each bringing new improvements. The original was the smallest, while the classic saw increased capacity and range. The next generation, released in 1997, had wider wings, more fuel capacity, and could carry up to 215 passengers. It's still being produced today, proving that the 737 remains a popular choice for airlines worldwide. Boeing's dominance with the 737 was challenged by Airbus with the A320 family, and some loyal 737 customers switched over. However, Boeing fought back with the latest generation of the aircraft, the 737 MAX, which includes a more efficient engine and advanced aerodynamic improvements, including split winglets. The MAX was first delivered in 2017. It comes in four models, ranging from 172 to 230 passengers. But in 2018 and 2019, two MAX planes crashed, killing a total of 346 people. As a result, all planes were grounded worldwide for almost two years. 
Investigations linked the crashes to intense competition with Airbus and production pressure to cut costs. The MAX has since returned to service with improved safety features. Netflix's latest documentary, Downfall, The Case Against Boeing, exposes the troubling trade-off between profits and safety that may have played a role in two catastrophic plane crashes that occurred just months apart. In 1970, Boeing unveiled the mighty Boeing 747. This four-engine, low-wing aircraft was a game-changer, designed to lower seat costs. To make this jumbo jet, Boeing built the world's biggest building by volume, standing at a whopping 5.6 million cubic feet. With turbofan engines, it could deliver double the power of previous models while using one-third less fuel. Back in the day, supersonic planes like the Concorde threatened to take over the passenger market. So Boeing came up with the 747, a massive airplane with a raised cockpit that could be turned into a cargo plane if needed. It wasn't built for speed like the Concorde, but it did have a distinctive hump on its upper deck, where the cockpit was located. Back in 1966, Pan Am ordered 25 of the first-ever Boeing 747-100 planes for a whopping $525 million, that's $4.6 billion today. But here's the catch, Boeing only had a short amount of time to deliver the first plane to Pan Am. Meet the Incredibles, a team of 50,000 employees who made aviation history by building the largest civilian airplane in the world in just 16 months. The project was such a huge risk that Boeing was said to have bet the company on it. Boeing took a huge risk by investing $1 billion in the 747, which caused their debt to surpass $2 billion. But the gamble paid off and led to Boeing's dominance in large passenger air travel for decades. Its body was 224 feet long, with a tail as tall as a six-story building. Did you know that the Boeing 747 could hold 3,400 pieces of luggage and be unloaded in just seven minutes? The first 747-100 and-200 models could carry up to 490 passengers, travel 6,000 miles, and fly at a cruising speed of 640 miles per hour. NASA even modified two of them to carry space shuttles, and in 1990, two more were transformed into Air Force One, replacing the presidential plane that had been in service for almost 30 years. The plane kept evolving, with the extended upper deck of the 747-300 and the-400 offering three different models. The extended range model had a range of 8,826 miles, while the 747-8 is the intercontinental king, boasting a range of 8,892 miles and a wingspan of 224 feet, carrying up to 500 passengers. It takes flight with eco-friendliness in mind, thanks to technology from the 787 Dreamliner. It's 30% quieter and emits 15% less carbon. The jumbo jet has had its share of accidents, with 61 planes involved and 3,722 lives lost. Despite this, over 1,500 units were built, making it the first widebody plane to reach that milestone. However, after 54 years, production ended in 2022, marking the end of an aviation era. Despite its potential for high operating costs, the 747's prestige alone was enough for many airlines to purchase the aircraft, even if it didn't make economic sense. So, the next time you see a jumbo jet soaring through the skies, remember that it's not just about the bottom line but also about the prestige that comes with flying a true aviation icon. Stay tuned for the next episode, where we'll showcase the latest and greatest Boeing aircraft. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, and remember to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or a certain topic to discuss for the next video.